Hey, good morning, folks. It's July 1st, 2023. We got a special edition of Tower Talk TV. Trying to keep it down a little bit. We're at Camp Do Large Delight. And we got a few people still sleeping, so try not to be too loud. But we got a special guest for you today. We're going to be hooking up with Mr. Jacob Brown of Homa, Louisiana, one of the main players on the Redfish Tournament Series. We're going to catch a ride with him. Going to be in the tower in his mamba. Talk to him about that new mamba he's running and how the fishing series and tournaments have been going for him in 2023. So stick around and check out this edition of Tower Talk TV. everybody here with Mike and Tower Talk TV. We finally got a chance to, to get together and maybe try to catch some fish. Um, I, I promised them some fish, but I don't know uh, if that was a good idea. I hadn't spent much time down in Homa this year. We're fishing the tournament series. We've been out of Delacro a lot. Uh, but we're going to get on the water with the conditions we have today and know where the river's at and, and where some fish should be holding based on historical knowledge. So we'll see if that holds true and put some fish in the boat for you guys. What kind of boat are we riding in today? We're running the 24 VX, which is Mamba Hall from Waypoint Customs. This has been a fantastic boat so far. I think I had maybe haul number five or six. Mr. Jim Poole, Jared Poole, Mike Jalifi, all those guys down in Corpus, they've been fantastic. Uh, to me and to the tournament series, it, it takes a lot of supporters like that to keep those series going, and uh, they've been a big part of it. So we appreciate what they do. We'll, we'll show you guys around the boat today at some point and uh, show you what you can do. pretty much used all the baits you could think of and I've narrowed down my selection to three. I use Chris Sensi's Slayer Lures swim baits. I use Nacho Daddy spoons out of Corpus Christi, Mr. Waylon Miller. And these crawfish, I actually make myself. So I love fishing crawfish lures. I've used just about all of them. I've had a hard time uh, finding something specifically that I like. These crawfish, for the gentlemen that have been fishing for a while, are just about identical to the old shoo, shoo lures. A good friend of mine, Taylor, used to own that business. It was sold and the mold was changed, and so I went and found the mold, and I make my own. Yep, sure is. You wanna get them? Fish love this puppy grind bank. Little guy, but he'll start today. Yeah, so I, I Texas rig a lot, so I stay weedless. It allows me good control and I have good casting distance and things of that sort. This is called, um, I used to be a bass fisherman. I'm comfortable with that. Look up here, it's two. Get go for him, go for him. Good shot, good shot. There's one. <laughs> I 
Awesome, good shot. Good fish, that's yours. <laughs> There you go guys, we got one here just a little bit under 27, this is an awesome tournament fish, a little bit over 8, he might have made it to the way in, but uh, we're just kind of cruising this shoreline here in this big lake with Jacob, he spotted two fish, and uh, luckily he was nice and let his guests throw at the first one, and <laughs> the other one ran off, we didn't get a shot at him, but hopefully this is the first of many more to come, so. I think those two fish were twins. Mamba. Uh, she's 24 foot long. She, she drafts exceptionally well. I know a lot of people believe that you need smaller boats to get into small water. Um, this boat will do just about anything any other boat will do. She has the speed because of the pad and the V. I mean, the step and the V. The V on the bow helps cut the waves when it's rough and things of that sort. But um, this, this boat drafts exceptionally well. Um, it has not stopped me from fishing anywhere as I want to fish. And, there's been times that I said, no, I don't know if we're getting out of here. And she'll jump right on step and move and get out. Um, I've been very impressed with it as far as a great all-around boat. Another really cool feature about this boat is the custom HDC deck. This was installed by Southern Cooler and Marine. They are by far, hands down, the best in the business um, when it comes to their CNC cutting and the way they were able to highlight the really cool features of the Mamba Hall. I love it as far as uh, cleanliness. My buddies joke with me and pick on me because I'm OCD about being clean, but I use my boat. We flip the fish in here, as you've seen today, with grass and blood. It comes off with a water hose, and it makes cleanup really easy, really nice. It's durable, um, and it also helps keep the boat cool in the summertime when it's really hot. Um, I, I can't say enough about Southern Cooler Marine and Ben and that entire group. They change those sizes up. Like you're talking. What do you think that'll do for tournament fishing? Well, I think what we've come to the conclusion to from just talking with people is that the limit may go from five to three, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But like you said, being a tournament fisherman, the size changes could really affect what we like to do. I think for sure you may see. That is what we call a taco. fish taco. Yeah, you may see a complete change in the slot limits. It's still gonna allow us to tournament fish. It'll make the slot much more difficult to fill. It'll also change the weights that we're accustomed to fishing. I mean, it may change your style of fishing as well. I find a lot of the fish in the marsh nowadays are, are your upper slots, and you don't see very many of the smaller slot fish in there. This is only my fourth year fishing tournaments. I think I have four or five top five finishes, which is an accomplishment considering the field that we fish against. But this year I've, I've finished third in the single man and the second in the power pole. It's been a good year for me.
Tower Talk TV. Thanks for watching it. As you've seen, Mr. Jacob Brown in action in the Mamba 24V or X. VX. The 24VX. It's a sweet ride, guys. First time I've been in one. Goes fast, goes skinny, runs shallow, handles big water, smooth, handles great. Uh, got us in some really skinny areas. We got to do some sight fishing today. It's an excellent boat. Now you see why a lot of these guys are tournament fishing out of these things. The tides kind of made it a tough day today. The water with the clarity wasn't quite what we wanted it to be or whatnot, but the uh, fish cooperated. We were able to put a couple in the boat, and Mike and I probably would have had a 24 pound stringer today, so that wasn't too bad. Hey, hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and happy 4th of July.